In this video, we will cover the basics of compound interest. Suppose you have a dollar and you put it in a bank account for one year. Question is, what would you get back at the end of one year? Would it be a dollar? Could it be more than a dollar? Or would it be less than a dollar? The answer depends on the interest rate R that bank pays you on your deposit. Let's say the interest rate equals 8% per annum. Per annum just means per year. So the future value denoted by FV of the dollar that you deposited equals $1 plus 8% interest that you will earn on your dollar deposit. And this can be rewritten as $1 times 1 plus 8%, which equals $1 and 8 cents. So the future value of a dollar deposited at 8% per annum for a year equals $1 and 8 cents. Now what if you deposit this dollar in the same bank account for two years? So we know that a dollar deposited today at the end of year one will be worth one dollar times one plus eight percent which equals one dollar and eight cents but since you've made the deposit for two years the interest rate for second year will apply to this new amount of one dollar and eight cents so at the end of year two the value of the deposit will be equal to one dollar and eight cents times one plus eight percent which equals one point one six six four dollars so the future value of this deposit equals the dollar deposited times one plus the eight percent interest that it will accumulate in first year and then another eight percent that it will accumulate from year one to year two, which can be rewritten as one dollar times one plus eight percent square, which equals one point one six six four dollars. In finance, interest rates are often quoted on per annum basis, but may be compounded with different frequency. In our example so far, interest rate is compounded annually. Let's say the bank account pays nominal interest rate denoted by Rn equal to 8% per annum, but the interest rate is compounded quarterly. Now, what do we mean when we say interest rate is 8% per annum, but is quarterly compounded? That just means that annual interest rate is 8% per annum, but each year is divided into periods. And in this case, we have four periods. So let the periodic interest rate be denoted by RP. And in this example, it equals... 8% per annum of nominal interest divided by the number of periods in a year, which is 4, and this equals 2%. This means that every quarter, your deposit will accumulate interest of 2%. So let's say you deposit a dollar into a bank account for a year, and the bank pays you nominal interest rate of 8% per annum, but with quarterly compounding. So at the end of first period, or first quarter, the deposit is worth $1 times 1 plus 2%, which equals $1.02. Now, the interest rate in second quarter or second period will apply to this new amount of $1.02, which will grow by another 2%. And at the end of second quarter, the deposit will be worth $1 and four zero four cents similarly at the end of third quarter 
or third period, the value of this deposit will go up by another 2%. So at the end of third period, the deposit will be worth $1 and 6 to one cent. And finally, at the end of fourth quarter or fourth period, the value of this deposit will go up by another 2%. So that at the end of fourth and final period, the deposit is worth $1 and 8 to 4 cents. Notice how this future value of dollar deposited when interest rate is 8% per annum with quarterly compounding is different from $1.08 that we got earlier when interest rate was annually compounded. So in our last example, the interest rate is 8% per annum with quarterly compounding. Question is, what would be the equivalent annual interest rate with annual compounding? That's called the effective annual interest rate. And in this example, it equals 1 plus the 2% interest that we will earn in first quarter times 1 plus 2% interest that we will earn in second quarter times another 2% interest that we will earn in third quarter and finally 2% interest that will be earned in fourth quarter minus 1. And this equals 8.2. 4%. This means that a dollar deposited today at 8% per annum with quarterly compounding will earn 8.24% interest over the course of a year. And at the end of a year, the deposit will be worth $1.0824. And this matches the value that we got earlier. So we can generalize the argument as follows. If Rn is the nominal rate of interest and let M denote the number of compounding periods per year, then the effective annual interest rate denoted by RE equals 1 plus the nominal rate of interest divided by the number of compounding periods per year to the power m minus 1. So we have covered the basics of interest rate compounding and shown how we can calculate effective annual interest rate if we're given nominal rate of interest per annum and its compounding frequency. In next videos on compound interest, we will make use of these concepts to calculate present and future value of an amount as well as cover continuous compounding. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post.